Deborah K., Red Thread Thinking, Weaving Together Connections for Brilliant Ideas and Profitable Innovations. Discover the power of red thread thinking and unlock the secrets to profitable innovation with Deborah Kay's insightful book. Delve into the five simple techniques that will aid you in weaving seemingly unrelated ideas together to create brilliant and successful innovations. As you venture into this book summary, you will learn how to encourage an environment where innovation thrives, explore the role of creativity, and understand the difference between viable innovations and ideas that don't take off. Get ready to redefine the approach to innovation, drawing upon brain research breakthroughs, understanding of culture, and the importance of empathy. Consider the role of trends and the necessity of turning insights into monetizable innovations. Red Thread Thinking The book argues that creativity is not enough for successful innovation as it needs to be tested against consumer demand. The five strands of red thread thinking offer simple techniques to connect an item's multiple qualities, making it useful for consumers and commercially viable. Innovation is essential for success, but everyone can innovate by improving existing designs and transforming ideas into attractive products. The book is a guide to achieving successful innovation with practical, easy-to-follow techniques to weave distinct ideas together regularly. Unlocking Innovation how your brain works. Innovation is key in today's fast-paced world, but traditional brainstorming sessions may stifle new ideas. Brain research has provided new insights into how our brains work and how we can generate innovative ideas. Rather than forcing structured brainstorming sessions, companies like Google and 3M send their employees away to explore new ideas on their own. The pressure of group brainstorming can hinder creativity, and taking a break, practicing meditation, or getting moderate aerobic exercise can help promote fresh perspectives. Building on other people's ideas and positive self-talk can also improve your innovation potential. By understanding how our brains work and incorporating these new insights, we can unlock innovation and create groundbreaking ideas for the future. Mastering the old to innovate the new. The just-published book on innovation suggests that there are no, completely original, ideas, just new combinations of existing ones. The author encourages innovators to look back at steps they have already taken and tasks they have already performed then excavate them with fresh eyes. One useful approach is called, world mining, which is about taking developments from other industries and fields that one can refit. Moreover, successful innovations can come from borrowing from related fields. The author advises against assuming that you already know what happened in the past. Looking at the big picture and not individual events helps one put things in context. The key to failing well is taking notes of what could be useful in the future and working past the disappointment. Finally, the author suggests that we need to expand our understanding of businesses' relationship to social and environmental responsibility and that innovation can also emerge from changing the market. Unlocking Innovation Innovation is not just about having a groundbreaking idea, but also about understanding cultural connections and observing people's behavior. The key to successful innovation lies in empathizing with the customers and identifying their unmet needs. To do this, one must hone their empathy skills and develop the gift of seeing connecting insights. Understanding cultural currents is also essential to ensure that the innovation aligns with the consumer's existing behaviors and motivation. Innovations diffuse through cultures in a standard pattern, and five factors determine how quickly ideas spread across networks. Overall, successful innovation is a balance between creativity, empathy, and cultural understanding. The Power of Simplicity In order to succeed in the market, your idea must be easily identifiable, attractive, and convey a new identity. Design should focus on being simple yet harmonious while getting rid of anything unnecessary. By simplifying your product, customers can quickly understand what makes it unique, making them more likely to buy it. However, simplicity looks different in various cultures, so it's essential to consider your target audience. Ultimately, design should aim to increase sales and functionality by reducing the number of choices customers have to make. Passion and Innovation 
Passion is a key driving force for innovation and should be harnessed properly. Failure is a crucial step in the process of innovation. Optimism, critical judgment, and trial and error are essential in the innovation process. Innovations that make a profit without damaging the environment and have positive social implications help make the world a better place. Passion is an essential driver of successful innovation. However, it is important to understand what passion is and what role it plays in the innovation process. It is not about sticking blindly to your original idea, but rather providing the fuel to keep exploring new areas, trying new approaches, and persevering through failures. Failure is actually an important and necessary step in the innovation process. Innovators such as Sir James Dyson and successful companies like Pinterest and Rovio Entertainment have experienced many failures before achieving their current success. Innovators need to embrace failure and view it as an opportunity to learn and push past the disappointment. Optimism is another important factor that can help promote innovation. It means persevering through intense doubt and frustration and learning from failures to put events in perspective in ways that anchor them in reality. Innovators need to exercise balanced, critical judgment and learn to trust their intuition through trial and error. Innovation is not just about earning money but also making the world a better place. Sustainable growth comes from innovations that make a profit without damaging the environment and have positive social implications. For instance, Unilever worked with the Indian government to create networks that enable entrepreneurial women to distribute products in remote villages. Innovation is not reserved for a few special people. We can all design and develop our thoughts into things, as long as we harness passion properly, embrace failure, exercise balanced, critical judgment, and trust our intuition. Ultimately, the goal of innovation is to make a positive impact on society. Red Thread Thinking In Red Thread Thinking, the author derives inspiration from an ancient Asian legend of an elderly god to share a unique approach to problem-solving. Essentially, the idea is that people who are destined to meet can be brought together by a red thread and work together seamlessly with interconnectivity to knit a new fabric. The author argues that this concept can be applied to business, promoting innovation and collaboration. By embracing the red thread thinking approach, businesses can effectively tackle complex issues and unlock new opportunities. In Dread Thread Thinking, Deborah Kay provides a comprehensive guide that empowers you to transform your ideas into successful innovations. By harnessing creativity and understanding cultural contexts, you can make valuable connections and drive your ideas to profitability. Keep in mind the importance of learning from failure and embracing perseverance and optimism during the process. This journey of innovation is not only about making a profit but also about contributing positively to social causes and embracing sustainable growth. As you incorporate the principles of red thread thinking into your life, remember that everyone has the potential to design and develop brilliant ideas that can change the world.